participated in this year's marathon as part of the Run Disney Marathon Weekend held at Walt Disney World. So on the morning of the race, I arrived at Epcot super early. I wanted to make sure I was really organized. Um, I got into the event area, dropped off my bag, and decided to pretty much head straight to my corral so that I could get a good starting position for the race. I was in Corral C, which is a really large corral, so there is a bit of a benefit of getting there early and securing your spot up towards the start of the corral. Now I have vlogged during the race, I'm also going to include some text messages from our family group chat because I feel like they give you some good updates as to how I was getting on along the course. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we Intro, but I am currently in the middle of the Walt Disney World marathon. That's my <laughs> run walk notification going off. So I'm just taking an extended walk break. I am going to switch to my camera by the way, so apologies if this footage is awful. Um, I just want to save a bit of camera battery for some of the more fun parts of the course. We have made it to the first park on the course. It's Epcot! Oh my gosh! That first park moment's always the best. Ooh, and we've reached mile marker too. Awesome. <laughs> it's a little bit humid this morning. <laughs> Alright, we've hit major congestion in Epcot. So, everyone's on a walk break, I guess. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Taking off again. I think it was because the monorail went past. <laughs> How cool is this? This is why I love Run Disney races. Coming through the parks like this. Oh my gosh. I literally just have a massive smile on my face. There's a ton of congestion around the corner as well. So I'm just taking it easy for a couple of minutes. Check out that congestion there. So it's a real bottlenecker point up there. We've got a lot of people as well queuing for 
the first, or actually it's technically the second set of real bathrooms, as you can go over to the pavilion over there. I forget the name of it. The wind just passed. Mexico, is it Odyssey or something? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we are at a bit of a standstill. We just got absolutely lashed on. <laughs> it's been lashing rain for the last 10 minutes. Completely unforecasted. <laughs> so most people unprepared. I mean, I had my hat, so that was helpful. But uh, yeah, that was an interesting surprise. And it also threw me off as well because they seem to have pulled in the five and six mile marker. So I was totally confused. But anyway, I'm now past mile eight and just coming into the Magic Kingdom. And the rain is starting to ease off. <laughs> to these bathrooms but that may sound silly all of the real bathrooms have had crazy crazy lines so I think I'll save time by going off course to go toilet especially because I got wet I just want to sort myself out a little bit um, but this is amazing oh Magic Kingdom was so cool I'm so glad the rain has stopped though wow that was so unexpected <laughs> and we are back on the course just having a little walk break and then gonna head back into my intervals. Monsters in characters out. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sully's a good one. You can give him a big hug. So I think this is the very first time that a chorus has ever come round past Tron. How exciting is that? I'm not sure if the half was supposed to come this way yesterday, but the half was actually cut short and didn't make it to Magic Kingdom at all. Um, so I think this is the first race ever. How exciting! There are 
some runners on the carousel. That's crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Tiana's over here. We're coming through the castle. Oh, amazing. Okay, so as you can see, we are in Animal Kingdom. This is where it all fell apart for me last time. Um, so a bit of a recap. I stuck with the 6.15 pacers for a while, but actually found the pacing group super hot. Thank you. The support is just unreal, it's so good. Um, so, Rachel tells me I've got a good enough gap on the balloon ladies. I've got my family helping me this time, so I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> and uh, I could really do with Everest right now, for the adrenaline rush. The legs are really hurting. I've been doing a good bit more walking than I wanted to be doing the last mile. Um, but I did make up some good time between about mile 10 and 15, so feeling good. That rain, that rain killed me off because oh, it's just so wet and you couldn't run because there were giant puddles in the road and then obviously people walking and then there were slippy parts, so it was crazy. <laughs> we are coming up to Everest. I just stopped for the official race photo back there, but here it is. Everest, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I hope they're doing it just as good as they did last year with getting the runners through. So, apparently they cut off Everest. I got like 20 minutes before I got there, which is so weird because I've got such a good buffer on the balloon lady. So I don't know. I mean, it did look like it had quite a big queue. So I guess maybe like with, you know, Genie Plus and people paying for it, they can't put the runners through or something. That's such a disappointment. Ah, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> the cast members are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. So some time has passed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really struggled on the highway miles this time. Oh my gosh, the music is fab. We've got some cheer squads going on over here. So cool. Oh, we've got a photo pass coming up here. But I'm feeling so much better now. Um, and I've got chatting to people, which has been amazing. And the support is just fantastic. And this is the best bit because now I feel like I'm safe and I can just enjoy the rest of it.
are in the World Showcase. We're approaching 40 kilometers and we're also approaching mile 25. So I actually had or made a bit of a running friend <laughs> that kept me going the last like, gosh, maybe five miles, um, which was amazing uh, because I really needed it. <laughs> I really struggled on that highway and I was starting to just power walk and getting a bit frustrated. And then we just chatted the whole time and it just made it pass so quickly. And um, she's gone on ahead now because I had to stop for a bathroom break. But I'm so happy because this is the final stretch. I can do a mile. I can do a mile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just on a steady, a steady power walk flow now. Just gotta keep it up and not stop. <laughs> also, in what has become a bit of a tradition, I left my hat behind. This time in a porta potty, and I didn't go back for. I only realised a good while down the road because I was taking it on and off and clipping it onto my belt. Um, so yeah, and then the sun came out, <laughs> but it's actually been fine because. The sun only came out the last maybe 45 minutes while I've been walking, so it's been all right. And they were they had sun cream and you know ice packs and everything at the medic tent, so that was cool. There is Mile. 25. Oh, I would love a little stop off in Caramel Kush. Oh my gosh, that'll be delightful. This late in the race. Pulled over to get a photo in front of Spaceship Earth. Because why not? wondering how they control the crowds in the park. This is how they'll switch between either side of the course to cordon off to let people cross over. I forget their names. 
I know there's a name for them, the trash can drummer people. Oh, there's people jumping in and playing, that's so cute. too much about what's going on right now because I can't start crying from here. It's too far. <laughs> Gosh, oh water. Oh amazing. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It just ended, I think. And that was the balloon ladies crossing. That's amazing. Alright, so I've picked up a few things. Parade, water, a hat. And my medal. Now they will send you down the challenge chutes if you're doing a challenge. So get your challenge medals. No challenge for me today. Just a marathon. <laughs> like, the only place you'll ever say just a marathon. Oh. But now I get my food box, my little snack box, which I'm excited for. Then I just have to go collect my gear bag and then home sweet home. I'm still walking though, still walking. <laughs> you can see they're handing out the food boxes. I'm gonna have to put you guys away because I don't have extra hands. You can see the finish line behind me there. I've just done a big loop around to get out and now heading out into the car park. It is a bit cheeky that they make us do all this walking <laughs> after finishing a marathon. I am walking very slowly. Just taking my time getting back to the car because I am sore, but I'm just so happy I managed to finish. 
and um, what I'll do is I'll do a race recap when I'm feeling a little bit more human. And that is where I will leave this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed following along with me as I participated in the marathon. I will do a separate vlog with some sort of learning points from this day. And if you have any questions you'd like me to answer in that, please leave them in the comments down below. But also make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Plus, you know, some training vlogs that might be coming up because I am hoping that I'll be back again next year and maybe not just for the marathon this time. <laughs> we will see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I have lots of other travel vlogs coming and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.